everyone, this is Larissa Jackson, and today we have a new episode for Let's Talk MG. This is episode two, and we're going to talk a little bit about the new movie coming up. Are you guys excited already? It's like, I know, one more year, 2025, but man, if I could, I would be just waiting on the theater outside, you know? I'm super excited about that. And today we have a guest from Sri Lanka, so let's hear from her. Can you please introduce yourself? Hi guys, hi everyone. Um, my name is Tarush Kisisara. Uh, I'm 25 years old. I'm from Sri Lanka. Um, and I just graduated last year and I recently started my first job. And yeah, that's basic things about me other than being a huge Michael Jackson fan. <laughs> awesome awesome okay so now with the first question when and how did you become a Michael Jackson fan so when in 2020 um I mean before 2020 I used to love his songs I used to love his dancing moonwalk the lean everything but I wouldn't call myself a fan like a fan fan um, I mean, growing up as a 90s kid, growing up around early 2000s, you can't escape Michael Jackson because he's he was such a global icon and he was crazy popular in our country as well. Um, so growing up, I was around his music and his every artist work. Um, but until 2020, I wasn't, I don't know, I didn't have any need to look into who this person is, um, like what's, what's so crazy about him or anything. So during quarantine, I, for some reason, uh, came across the documentary, Leaving Neverland. And before that, I have never heard about the allegations. And it was caught me by surprise because, I mean, I didn't know much personal details about Michael, but I, as I have heard, he looks like such a nice person, such a sweet, shy, um, humanitarian kind of person. So out of curiosity, I watched this documentary and for some reason, I felt like things weren't adding up. Um, like, I don't know. I felt like they are kind of pushing their story towards the emotional aspects of people rather than rational. Like, it wasn't making sense. Some things weren't making sense in my head. So that's when I decided to go down the rabbit hole myself and like do some digging and see what was actually going on. And um, so it was four years ago in 2020, during quarantine, I had so much free time. So I watched many documentaries from both sides of the story. I read some articles, I read some FBI documents and many things I don't, even remember some things now um but yeah so I came out the rabbit hole as a fan um I mean it's been four years but there are still so many songs I haven't even heard yet because I think I'm more of a fan of the person who Michael Jackson used to be than the artist who he used to be like I love his artistry everywhere but I think I was more fascinated about the person who he used to be and I was I remember I was very fascinated about his life story as well as I was very devastated about the things he had to go through um the betrayals the so many things but mm -hmm. yeah that's how I became a fan and when I became a fan and I'm still a fan. 
<laughs> Amazing. That's uh, that's that's so interesting to hear. Um, that you became a fan more of like the person first, um, and then yeah. the artist. Um, because yeah, Michael is always known for like being like this big celebrity. But yeah. if you get to know his personal side. He's like much more amazing. For me, it was the opposite. I did fall in love with the artist side first. Um, after he died, actually, it was 2009. I mean, I'm also like, you know, 25, 1998. Um, but yeah. I was not into like being online, computer stuff. Like I was probably, yeah. I don't know, eight, eight years old when my parents first got a computer. That was like a huge computer, you know, like in my house. And I didn't even know how to use. <laughs> I didn't know internet, nothing like that. Okay. And uh, I was just not a, too much into music, nothing like that. I would not be in the computer. I was not a computer person at all. And in 2009, I saw Michael for the first time, like on TV. I was 10. And... Okay, first of all, I do want to mention that, yes, I know Michael is famous. And I've, he I've heard of like a Michael Jackson just because he's so famous, right? But I never mm -hmm. associated him with like a person. Like I've never seen him. I, I know Michael Jackson exists. I know he's the king of pop, but I don't know who is Michael Jackson. But then I see this guy on TV and it was playing black or white, okay? And oh, um... I was just like fascinated, like, oh my god this guy is going from place to place and dancing and you know doing so many things at the same time and you know like the video right it's just like black and white is amazing to me and the 14 year old is like who oh, doesn't watch anything <laughs> you know I was just, the, the guy just blew my mind and when it was done like the report is saying that michael jackson died today and i was like you know, I was shocked, like, oh my gosh, this guy is Michael Jackson, he just died. Um, and right after that, I was, uh, I went back to his school, and there was this new girl, and she was a Michael Jackson fan. She had this M MP3 player, she's still my friend, by the way. She oh, had this MP3 player, and she would have, like, so many Michael Jackson songs, and I started listening to Michael Jackson songs from her MP3 three player um and I just became obsessed I would listen uh to Michael with her like every day in school and I started like buying like Michael stuff too uh, my first CD ever was the album Bad and I don't know I just and then I started to get him like like his personal life I would like search I would read on the like magazine I, I would say I became really obsessed for the next two years. And yes, I did read about like the allegation stuff. I could not like believe that what Michael went through, you know, like how he always wanted to help people. And then he's betrayed by so many all because of money. And yeah, so I totally get what you're saying. And uh, it is amazing, in my opinion, that you did like love him as like as a person first before like the artist that he was. Um, yeah. It's it's cool. I want to add one more thing. Since you mentioned okay. about uh, seeing him first at 10 years old and then he died, like, right after. Um, so at 10 years old, I wasn't a fan, just like you. Uh, he wasn't anything special to me. But in 2009, the day he died, for some reason, I still can remember it like clear as day for some reason I can't believe why I think that's because it was such a big thing like I'm from a country South Asian country very small some people do, don't even know about our country I guess mm -hmm. um, and still it was so big here as well and I remember I I was at school and then after school I was going home I guess um with my dad and he always uh brings the newspaper and I look at the newspaper and it says Michael Jackson is dead and I remember that for some reason I was like oh my god Michael Jackson has died and I still remember that for some reason <laughs> and I can't believe like as a non-fan 
at such a young age and it has become a core memory for some reason it's crazy right right it is crazy because i also remember that day too and he was like he was nothing to me i was not a fan of nothing but i still can remember like the details of that day and i mean i didn't cry that day because again i was not a fan but i do remember crying when paris jackson talked on his funeral i don't know if you remember mm-hmm. watching that but when she uh, talked... i haven't watched that until like okay. very recently mm-hmm. i do remember watching when it happened uh and i cried i cried because just the way she was talking you know and like i mean she just lost her father and um, yeah and I, I cried as a kid. It's just, it's just weird that I didn't love Michael at that time, but I cried for like all that she was feeling, you know. And as the time went by, and I did like grow to love Michael so much, you know, it has been what fourteen years already. And now I cry with everything. <laughs> like now you're talking, like uh, I'm like getting emotional. It's your parents now. <laughs> yeah, it's like all the time. Oh, oh my gosh, that is oh, that is amazing. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. So do you have a favorite Michael Jackson song? Or if you can't pick one, do you have at least a favorite album? You know we can't pick one. You know fans can't pick one. <laughs> you know that. Uh, but my favorite album is Bad. And I would pick three favorite songs. Black or white, it's. I was fascinated by it, absolutely, and um, the way you make me feel, and rock with you. I love those three songs. There are so many other favorites, but these are really special. Nice, nice. I mean, same thing as a thing again. I can't pick a song, and then like on it's... the previous episode, like people also didn't pick a favorite song. I mean, it's so it's so funny because like people who are not fans and they ask you like, oh, what's your favorite song? And I'm like, uh, I have a favorite song of the day. Does that count? <laughs> Something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then my favorite album would be Bad uh, because that was the first album that I got for my collection. Uh, and I used uh, to listen to like the whole thing. Every day for so long, I listen to bed. Uh, you know how there are some albums and you just be skipping songs. Like sometimes you want to skip a song, yeah. skip another one. But bed was that bad album. album there's nothing you can skip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Bad. I would just like listen to everything. Like I loved everything in there. Oh, uh, but yeah. All right. So next question. Now we are talking about the new movie. Um, what did you think of Jafar Jackson casted as Michael Jackson? And would you have preferred to be an impersonator of someone else? So I personally think there's, I don't think there would be any one better than Jafar to play this part. Um because I mean when they first announced about this movie I thought who can like my first thought was impersonators obviously I didn't even imagine that anyone from the family would be chosen to play him um so I was thinking about impersonators but honestly I couldn't find anyone that would be perfect like I mean I don't know. I don't think all impersonators, there are some people who look like him, but there's something missing with them. I don't know how to word it. So when they announced Jafar for the role, I was very happy. Um, He had the voice, uh, very similar to Michael, and he can dance, very similar to Michael. The only thing we still don't know about is his acting skills, which I think he will, I I believe he will do justice for the role. So since I can't like think about anyone better, I think Jafar would be the perfect choice. I mean, it's his own nephew. So who, who is better than that? I don't know. 
<laughs> right. I only asked you about that because sometimes I see comments of like fans in general saying like, oh, why they didn't cast like an impersonator? Oh, they even say the impersonator's name, you know, like why yeah. they cast, cast yeah. this person? Why I would prefer this person. And I'm like, I are so, you serious? So oh, <laughs> I don't want to like very call ridiculous. out. Sorry. Some, very ridiculous. some choices oh. of some fans, like uh, some impersonators are very ridiculous. There are, you know, there are some imper- impersonators, like kind of controversial people, like their behaviors and the things they are like, they are what you call rooting for are not how Michael used to be so yeah I saw so many comments but Mm -hmm. personally I think Jafar is the perfect match right right and I know uh, sometimes people just want to go for the look you know like just the appearance or by the dancing skills well this movie sure you're it's going to show Michael as an artist but you need to show everything else how can it yeah. isn't an impersonator gonna be able to show this whole part of Michael's life besides the dancing part of it besides the artist yeah. side of it yeah. so I don't know um, <laughs> fans in general sometimes they just be like expecting and want the, what they want like people just want different things and they be complaining I, I i honestly don't like when people just complain so much on michael's page i i feel so bad they just be demanding uh random things and when yeah. they do get something new like this movie because it's something new and it's something huge they also be complaining again <laughs> like oh why this why not this impersonator like what we have a new movie coming up. Why are you complaining? We're not going to get anything new if you keep complaining. <laughs> That's in my mind. Yeah, literally. I'm I'm so grateful for the movie. I'm so grateful they are doing something like that. And I don't think we should be like expecting impractical things. Like it's not practical, practically possible to like get someone who is like 100% Michael it's not practical so I don't know why people are complaining right right okay so now for the next question uh how about the rest of the cast uh we have already the young Michael we have Catherine Jackson Joe Jackson and John Branca so what did you think of them so the casting um I think I mean so far I I'm very impressed about their casting because uh in terms of the resemblance of the actors to the actual people, I think they have been doing a great job. Uh personally I haven't watched any previous work of these any of these um actors. So I don't know about their acting skills, their capacity or anything, but with resemble resemblance, they I think they are very like pretty accurate. Um, I have been seeing like some negative comments about the appearance and the race and stuff about the young Michael Jackson apparently some people are kind of mad about like not getting uh, like a black person African American person um, for young Michael's character um, I mean with I think when thinking about the all the other casting they have done I think this has to be the perfect person. There has to be reasons why they have chose this actor to play young Michael. But from the leaked photo that I saw, the one photo, I'm pretty sure you have already seen that. Um, I didn't see much of a resemblance with the young Michael, but I mean, it's, it's a leaked photo. It's like a paparazzi photo. So, I mean, it's not going to look like exactly the way we would see in the movie so I'm not super upset about 
young Michael or the other actors. I mean, the actress for Katherine Jackson looks very similar to her. And I think um, I saw people uh, saying for Janet, uh, the, the actress is Hailey Bailey. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name correctly, but people are saying like that actress would be perfect for Janet when it comes to the appearance. So about the actor, about the people that have already been casted, I'm pretty happy about them. And yeah, I have trust in the casting people. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know about Janet though. So did they post about Janet already? No, oh. they haven't okay. posted anything, but mm -hmm. like fans are okay. uh, like okay. suggesting that she okay, gotcha. Okay, got it. Makes sense. I I don't really have much to say about the cast. Uh I would say so far my favorite has been Katherine Jackson because I yeah. I have watched Nia uh, Nia Long. I have watched like movies with her before. Oh. So I I do like her. I I do like her a lot. So I would say I'm excited to see her as okay. um Catherine. Um, yeah, I don't. I mean, it was weird to me that like Joan Branca was already casted. <laughs> I'm gonna say that yeah. it was weird that he, they already posting about him. Oh, uh, but I yeah. don't have much more to say other than that. Um, so far, I'm happy with the cast in the movie so far. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next question: What are your expectations from this movie? Um, what is going to be included or anything you would like to share about that? So expectation wise, um, I don't have any particular uh, like expectations with what should be added to the movie or should not be added to the movie. Um, it looks like they are going from Jackson 5 era to I'm not sure until how long but pretty sure they will do it until like his death I guess even though uh, the casting is still not showing the time frame they are going to do but other than that I expect I hope that they will take this opportunity like this is such a great opportunity to clear his name like the media for so long or like 40 years i guess has been doing michael wrong for so long and there are so many people who do not question anything that media tells us and like believe whatever the media shows us so i don't know i think media has um dehumanized him so this is such a good opportunity if used in the right way to humanize michael as a person and as the humanitarian he was as the like he's such a normal person like all of us but the media shows him like uh sometimes as a weirdo freak so it's a good opportunity if they use it in a good way and I hope they will um, balance everything like you know about allegations controversies around him um, like not sugarcoating anything and actual like use the actual facts factual things um, so people would like believe start to believe the real thing um i mean i hope they wouldn't sugarcoat anything really and yeah if they use this opportunity to the fullest it will be great yeah i really like how you said that that they should not sugarcoat anything or remove yeah. anything because this is what happened to michael he went through all of that, all these allegations, and 
they shouldn't change anything. It is like the fact something. So people should get to know what he went through, not just like the great singer he was, the the amazing yeah. performer he was with these many awards and stuff like that. Yeah. They should get to know Michael as a yeah. person. You know, um, so I, yeah, I, I really like the the way you said that. I do agree with you completely. Yeah. Um, even, uh, I don't think you, yeah, I don't think you saw that. The, you know, I don't want to give any spoilers, but the MJ, the musical, that's one thing I liked, you know, the one in New York, but they are going on tour. Um, I do like a lot because they do show what Michael yeah. went through, even like from from like a kid, you know, a kid perspective. And again, I don't want to give you spoilers, so I don't want to talk much. But it, the MJ the musical was like so amazing because of that, because you could feel like his emotions and what Michael had become like as an adult because of everything he went through also as a kid you know as a kid being like this big star uh a kid trying to be like perfect because his father wanted him to be uh -huh. perfect so i i want people to see that and michael is not a weirdo or michael oh it's just like crazy why he has this ranch you know like the thing that people talk about Mike I want people to understand like how did he become this you know so it's all yeah. about his personal yeah. life so they need to show that you know yeah uh, yeah I want to add one thing like to to exactly that I think I mean MJ the musical I obviously haven't seen I hope I would get the chance to see that but i saw like so many people even people who are not fans loving mj the musical probably because as you said um it showed like the real picture like who he was since he was little to the greatest performer he was um i think if they do that with the movie, it would be great. People would start to see him as a human. I mean, with the controversies around him, like, you know, for example, skin lightening, the plastic surgeries, like changing his nose and stuff. And I mean, people don't see, I think most people don't see him as a human. Like, they, there are things that he did but there are also reasons that uh, like directed him to that. For example, like changing his nose. I mean, I don't understand why people are acting like changing appearances as a crime. Like we all have insecurities with us. And if, I don't know if I had the money, there are so many things that I would change. I don't yeah. know, it's very normal. I don't know why people and media acts, it's like, it's. It's not a crime and it's a personal thing. We as a public, we are not entitled to any of the celebrities' personal and medical lives. Like It's their life's mm -hmm. choices. We as fans, we should like focus more on their like, artistry work. Yes. I don't know the obsession that, you, that we see around his appearance and controversies so if they use this movie to the fullest and show that this is also a normal guy like mm -hmm. all of us people will start to like sympathize with him and his things he went through everything so I have mm -hmm. big hopes I know I know and like most of the celebrities they actually do have a lot of plastic surgeries. But exactly. the media was just obsessed with Michael. It was crazy. Was like, I don't understand. It, again, I guess because he was the biggest in his time. And let's talk about Michael Jackson. Let's put Michael Jackson on the front cover on the magazine. Like, let's it, talk about Michael. It, uh, it brings fame. It brings money to them. So that's probably right. Yeah, yeah. I know. 
All right. Uh, so next question. Uh, have you seen, the, which we already talked about, have you seen the leaked photos? And what do you think of them? <laughs> yeah, I think I have seen almost all of them. I mean, my TikTok FYP for the past week or so was filled with these leaked pictures and I have been enjoying. Um, the recent, most recent one I saw was this um, off-the-wall billboard and yeah. off-the-wall era Michael. Oh my God, it was so good. And the billboard, it took me some time to realize that it's not the actual billboard and it's Jafar's face in it. <laughs> they have done such a good job with that. And the pictures of Jafar, I'm completely, completely, completely blown away. The picture, the official picture they re released, oh my God. One of my friends sent it to me uh, right after they released it or something. That person was not even a fan and he thought I already know. He sent me that and, and I was like, is this Michael? And he's like, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So it was crazy. The picture was great. So I don't know. Right after that, um, we got some, I think, thriller era pictures with Catherine. Um, and yeah, I think we also saw young Michael's picture and the Jackson brothers' picture, I guess. Um, all of them are very nice uh, but I do hope that they will like stop <laughs> stop letting this happen otherwise we will see everything before the movie comes out <laughs> but on the other hand I'm kind of happy it makes us feel excited for the movie so yeah I, I totally get it I saw someone like another fan post on Facebook uh, ask you should I stop like watching out for those leaked photos because I'm so excited but I want to also be surprised on the movie <laughs> because it's yeah spoilers. yeah I mean I the latest thing that I've seen was the off the wall and I was like wait that's that's not Michael that and I was so excited they actually changed the off the wall album to like to be with Jaffa because Let's be honest, it would look a little weird if they put Michael's photo in there, you know, and yeah. ja Jaffa does not look like the, the cover, right? So I was like really excited. They changed everything. Um, I don't know. I feel like this, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I know they were recording these at the Havenhurst like, house um, because... Yeah. Because uh, I mean, there was no thriller night <laughs> last year. That's how that's how I know they were using their house. And yeah, so now I'm just like wondering if they are recording at all in Gary. I don't, I don't, I honestly don't know because you know how like Michael is from Gary, Indiana. Um, yeah. But there is like nothing much in Gary, you know. And but like Michael growing up. I, I wonder like where they're gonna be recording that if it's gonna be like just a studio or just in California. But I feel like it would be cool if they also recorded some stuff in Gary. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the same. Um, and also, as you said, I think there's nothing much in Gary other than the Jackson Street and Jackson's house. Mm -hmm. So. If they are going to record in Gary, they have to do it in their own house, I guess. So I think, yeah. in my opinion, I think they will do it somewhere else and mm -hmm. like recreate whatever the like the 60s, 70s, mm -hmm. not, not 60s time mm -hmm. uh, Gary or something. I think. Yeah. I know it's just because there is nothing because you know like even like Mike the school that Mike went to it was a it's abandoned for example there is <laughs> nothing a lot of like buildings are abandoned in Gary I just wish like Gary got like a little more famous so the town could like go like get better you know improve uh if they recorded there but for sure like there is no I 
there's no place for them to record, I guess, unless they decided to improve the city and for, for but they wouldn't do that, uh, I guess. So most I likely it's just California. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, you go ahead. You, you're going to say something. No, I was just agreeing with you because it would be easier for them to use California than Gary and reconstructing everything at Gary. So I think this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's all for today. But would you like to share anything else? Um, Not much. I think we have discussed almost everything, but um, yeah, I hope, um, my only hope is people, more people would start to like question things and not just believe everything they see and do their own digging or something and like realize there are uh, so many framings so many betrayals going on in his life and that yeah he was he was just a normal person like all of us not a weirdo not a freak um not wacko jacko and yeah start to see him as a person and not as a personality not as a not as the greatest entertainer of all time it's just also it's also a human being that's that's all I have to add. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. This was uh this was great. Did you like did Thank you, like you it? to you too? It was I had so much fun. This is my first time doing something like this, a podcast or even like having a chat with a fellow fan. So I enjoyed so much. I wish this was like Two hours long. It was so much fun. Genuinely. <laughs>